I want you to remember how you've been feeling, and I want you to be inspired to help others feel that same way. Someone that moves me, makes me feel, I want to thank her. I want to welcome the one and only, Nakia Evans! Alright? 
So how do we get your message on point? What's your why? Everybody here knows what their why is. All right? I'll, I'll share what my why is. If, if a lot of you may not know, I was a teenage mom. At the age of 19, 19 guys, I had three kids. Three, I had twins. Okay, second, not first. If I would have twins first, it probably wouldn't be three. But I had one, and then I had two, okay? And that's in good old fashioned Nakia history. I, I never do anything normal, in case you guys didn't know. They call me Nakia Too Much Evans. Everything that I do, I do too much, right? I give my all to everything. All right, so my why, my why right now today, as a 46-year-old woman, is that I want to give everything to my kids that I wasn't able to give them when we were growing up, right? Because at 19, with three children, you're growing up together. So right now, this Rev Share, this being at EXP, growing my Rev Share organization and growing my business, I want to spend more time with my children even though they're 27 and 29 right now, right? I'm gonna give them all of my time. I wanna give them all of my attention. I wanna be an entrepreneur that has a business with, filled with freedom. Time freedom, location freedom, and eventually financial freedom, right? Well, I just affiliated with EXP in July the 8th of 2020. Today, I'm proud to announce that my RevShare organization is 103 agents strong. Okay, so guess what guys, that's giving me time freedom, it's giving me location freedom, and I'm just on the brink of financial freedom, okay? I still got some work to do, because it's gonna take a little time, all right? So don't, don't get worried. My vision, I see the vision clearly. The vision has been shared with us, right? We see all of the top influencers of EXP. We've seen them all weekend, right? So we know it's possible. We have to take our time. We have to pay special attention. And we have to do all of the things that are needed to do in order to grow our organization, all right? So if for any reason you don't have your why yet, right? If you're just not really clear on what your why is, Take some time out and journal. Write things down. I bought my notebook today. I, I never go anywhere if I my notebook, right? Shout out to my team, my team in the audience. They know I have like seven notebooks at any given moment, right? And I write notes intently, intently. So start journaling or start just writing everything down. Or use the notes in your, in your iPads and your iPhones, okay? Write things down. Because you're going to come back to some of these things, and then some of these things are going to become your why. So if you don't have your why today, don't get worried, because it's coming to you, all right? All right. Squash your fears and boldly battle backlash. So right here, I want to tell you guys, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I want to tell you guys that not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody is going to love you. Not everybody is going to trust you. That's real estate agents, that's buyers, and that's sellers. Everybody is not your audience. Everybody is not your client. Everybody is not your friend. All right? But you don't, you can't worry about that. You can't let that stop you. What did we say? Unstoppable, unapologetic, unshakable, right? Shake it off. Keep moving. Don't worry about when people don't like you or your message. It doesn't matter because we got that confidence, right? We got that I am here. I am who I am. I am more than enough. I have more than enough. I am me. I can't be anybody else, right? That's the selling of confidence. Once you develop this theory about yourself, then you can become more confident. So, childhood lessons, childhood fears. Uh, do you guys remember, as children, right, we were told to be seen, but not heard. Anybody ever been told that when they were children, right? 
you were your parents made that it may have had company, right? And, and they told you you gotta be seen, but you can't be heard. Well, guess what? That changes in adulthood, and especially as real estate agents, especially as entrepreneurs, especially as business owners, you have to be seen and heard. All right, you can't be quiet. No more hidden agents. No more secret agents. Everybody has to know that you're a real estate agent. Everybody in this world, I'll be honest with y'all, I think everybody in this world, probably everybody in this industry right now, knows that Nakia Evans is at EXP Realty, and Nakia Evans is building the dream team, and that Nakia Evans is trying to live the life of her dreams. Okay? Okay? Everybody knows that. So you got to make that clear. you got to make that evident in everything you're doing and everything that you're showing online. That's confidence, once again, all right? So, now that you are here, you have more than enough, you are more than enough, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Let's reason who your ideal client is, who your target audience is, who your target market is. For me, right now, you guys probably guessed, right? From July of 2020 to November of 2021. Who's my ideal audience? Yell it out. Agents, correct. So I, I want to talk to agents. When people come to my social media pages, when people start talking to me, they know that I'm looking for agents or that I'm into helping agents. Because it's not only about the agents that I want to join my team or that I want to join my team. I'm known in the industry for helping anybody at any given moment, whether it's with a real estate question, if it's with volunteering at your local board, at your state board, I'm known for giving information to help you as an agent, as an agent become more confident, okay? So my ideal market right now has been identified. Uh, the other way I identified it, you guys know that Instagram, and some more social media channels, they actually have algorithms and information and uh, insights is what it's called. And they'll tell you, actually, who your audience is before you even know it. If you just take a look, if you go to Instagram, push the insights button and, and click and see who your audience is on Facebook. There's some other apps and some other websites that will also help you to identify your ideal client. Next up, to identify your target audience or to know who you're talking to, find out about people, find out what the people you've already done business with think of you. Collect testimonials, all right? The testimonial you see on the screen is from an agent. That's an EXP agent in a different market, but she called me for some information. And what she said is, if you call Nakia Evans, you better be ready to meet your goals. She's going to give you some information. She's going to give you some fire. She's going to fire you up. She's going to give you some energy. And then you're going to get moving towards your goals and to do everything that you want to do in your business. All right? So that's what, that's what I want anybody that comes in contact with me. That's what I want them to know that they're going to get from me. So not only did I collect this testimony, I put it on my social media channels so that other people or other agents will know what to expect when working with me or when talking with me or when just engaging with me. Like I was at uh, EXP Sprint. I talked to the contest winners the other day and I went into a tangent on teaching them something. I taught them about edification actually. That gives me just a quick moment to say thank you to EXP University. You know that's who put this thing together for us, right? That's why we're in this room right now. Curtis Dixon and his team are amazing. They're backstage right now listening and watching intently with you guys. But we have to say, now let's just give them a round of applause real quick and say thank you to them. Because they put this together, they gave me the opportunity to come out here by myself. Yesterday I was on a panel, I was sitting in one of three seats, right? But today they pushed me back out there by myself. Because I, I, I volunteered to talk about selling with confidence. I guess that's where I messed up, right? <laughs> it's like she's confident. Sent her out there by herself to talk for one hour. They gave me, did you know they gave me an hour? Like, 
like, who does that? <laughs> but they gave me an hour to talk to you guys, so we gotta thank them, right? Your message, turning your message into ultra compelling content. So I started off telling you guys, and I guess I got lost. I told you guys I was a teenage mom. I told you my why right now is to give back to them. But I didn't tell you guys about my journey. So I became a teenage mom at three at 19. I bought my first house when I was 23 years old. I kept that house and I bought a second house at 28 years old. Right? So my first house I turned into investment property. My second house, I, we moved into a bigger house because four people can't live in that little small house. And I wanted all of my children to have their own rooms. I was the only child, by the way, so I always had my own bedroom. So when you have three children, you need a four bedroom house. I bought that second house. And I always had a job, but I always had a business. I've always been an entrepreneur. Right? I was in direct sales and network marketing on the side, but I always had a full-time job. So imagine all of the content and the information that comes from going to work all day, then having a business, and then having three children, right? So your message will come from content that's already inside of you. Every day I can like wake up and I can find some type of content in my cell phone. But you guys, and who follows me on social media, by the way? Anybody? Okay, okay, all right. Well, if, if you don't, let's do it now. Instagram, I am moving with Nakia. Moving with Nakia, N-A-K-I-A. Okay, every morning I wake up, I'm, I go on Instagram. I go on Facebook. So on Facebook, they tell, they keep a rolling tag of what's happened for the last about 10 years of your life, right? I think they go all the way back to like, they may go all the way back to 2008. I wake up and I look, or well, before I go to bed, I reflect. And I go back to the years before. I go back to the things that happened one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, 11 years ago, eight years ago, and I can find content. All right? So if you're brainstorming and thinking about what your, what your message is or what you want to put your message out as, try going to Facebook. This is my first tip I'm probably giving you of today. <laughs> Go to Facebook and look at your history. Look at what happened last year, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. The other day, you guys know that this week right here is the exact week of the Sprint 2020. So do you guys know that I, I affiliated with EXP in July of 2020. In November, I was in Orlando, Florida as an EXP Sprint Contest winner. This exact same week last year. As I, thank you, as I sat at the pool at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando, mind you y'all, I told y'all I had quit a job. Did I tell y'all I quit my job to come here? I think I told y'all that. So I quit a job in June of 2020. I affiliated with EXP in July of 2020. I went on to win a contest. I guess I probably won a contest probably August or September. And in November, I was a top 50 that had, a, 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 that attracted three or more, right? Because that was the criteria to win that contest. And I got to mastermind with the top leaders of this company, okay? I brainstormed for information from the top agents of this company. So is that not compelling content? Is that not something to share? Is that information that you can share with the public or share with people that may have been in the same situation as you? How many other managers, broker managers, do you guys think that are out there, that are employees? that may not want to work a job for the rest of their life, that may want to start their own business, that may want to start their own team, that may want to create a rev share organization at EXP Realty. So if I can share that compelling content or those stories with the public on social media, someone may identify with me. Someone may have had the same pain point as me. All right, so I have to, turn, I have to make sure that my message is an ultra compelling, is our ultra compelling content, is information that they'll be able to use. So every day, brainstorm or just go back in your history to 
figure out what you need to share or what you can share that will get to your target audience, okay? Next, a polarizing message. Packing a punch with a more polarizing message. Because what we're sharing, people are listening, they're liking it, right? They, they're engaged, they, they comment, they say some things, but how do we make it more polarizing? We tell stories. We tell stories that show the real you. I think if anybody knows Trey, Trey knows me in real life, <laughs> and he knows me in social media, right? We're not on the same, we're not on the same uh, ESP, Rev Share Mount, anything. We met in person. He, he actually, let me, Trey, you actually came to celebrate my birthday with me. I was in a different, I was in his state, and he, it was his birthday, his birthday the same weekend, but he took time from his birthday to come and celebrate my birthday. So, oh, that's an ultra compelling story, right? Okay? And I appreciate from him, we built the relationship off of that. So I can, me and him, we just took a picture, a selfie on the stage. I can create ultra compelling stories from just the moment we just shared, the birthday moment we shared, right? So you're gonna tell stories about things that are happening to you. Real life stories, okay? Now, guess what else people like? They love your flaws. They love your mistakes. They love the things that you do wrong. If I, if I had to walk up those steps right now and I tripped up those steps, I would put it on social media because it would get a laugh and some people would enjoy that moment and they would know that I'm a real person, right? Uh, things like that. Share your flaws. If, if you had a hard time, if you're having a hard time reaching your goals, if you're having a hard time finding accountability partners, share that information. Tell the real stories. I am me. I'm going to tell everything about me. Uh, listen, I'm on stage at EXP right now. We're in a gym jack and script up. He's got all these pictures on the back of his chains and stuff. This is me, right? I'm going to share that. Some people may think that I should have had on a suit or a dress to come up on stage, but I am me. And I'm going to show the authentic Nakia wherever I go. And people appreciate that. Because I, I heard that presidents of Board of Realtors don't wear ripped up jeans. Okay, I heard that. Okay, that was something recent. Just a couple of months ago, just, just recently, they told me the president of the Board of Realtors doesn't wear ripped up jeans. Well, guess what? The Nakia that wears ripped up jean jackets is on the stage at EXPCon 2021 talking to the audience. Okay? So I'm going to keep on wearing my ripped up jeans and my chains on the back and my tool skirts because this is me and this is what I'm comfortable with, right? If, if you feel like it's a flaw, that's what you feel like. I feel like I look good up here on the stage, right? I'm confident now because y'all should have me back. I was nervous. I was like, what you mean I'm going on that stage by myself and talk for a I said, are y'all crazy? Did y'all be talking? Y'all sure y'all talk about me? I'm so excited. But now I'm, I'm confident, I'm feeling good because I'm me. I don't want to be anybody else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show my flaws and all. Anything that I'm struggling with, I'm going to talk about that online. And, and believe it or not, you guys are going to be more comfortable sharing your flaws. You're going to be more comfortable being your authentic self. Does anybody see that? I'm, I, I wrote a few notes, but I don't even have notes. Because I'm talking to y'all from my heart. And I'm telling you guys stories about me. I'm telling you guys things that I'm, uh, I'm sure of, right? I'm being authentically me. So when you, are, when you are sharing you and sharing the authentic you, you don't have to worry about scripts. You don't have to worry about planning out every word that you're going to say. I'm more comfortable not even knowing what I'm going to say next, right? Not even knowing what I want to do next. Rich Thomasini, who's my sponsor, by the way, he calls me One Take Nakia. We film a blog every single week on Wednesdays. And, and when we were out with a photographer, and a lot of time, we waste the photographer's time because we've looked them for an hour or two hours. 
And then Rich puts me in front of the camera and I get it on the first take. And he's like, what are we gonna do now, Nakia? You wasted this man's time. <laughs> so now we're taking pictures and we find other things to do. But I can do that literally because I'm sharing me. I'm being authentically Nakia, right? So, next, evaluate your communication style and your frequency. I have noticed that you guys love me on Facebook. I can share the exact same thing from Facebook to Instagram, and on Facebook, I might be at 248 likes and 92 comments. And I'll skip over to Instagram, and there's only three comments and 32 likes. So what's that about? My audience, my target audience is on Facebook, right? That's my ideal audience, that's my target audience. My communication style, and frequency must be better on Facebook. So now I need to move into the future with sharing more on Facebook than Instagram, right? Because I'm evaluating my communication style and frequency. But what else could that be? Are you guys emailing and not getting a lot of response? So where is your target audience spending a lot of time? Is your target audience not really checking their email? Maybe they're checking Instagram more. Maybe they're checking Facebook more. Maybe they're even checking text messages more. I can bet that your audience is checking text messages more. So when we evaluate our communication style and the frequency, we may need to move. We may need to shift. We may need to make other decisions. Okay? Tactfully talk to your audience during a crisis and stand up for social issues like a leader. Hmm. How many people have been on Facebook in those groups where they start talking about all kinds of stuff that has nothing to do with nothing and you get caught up and you may start arguing or you may be with me. We just had a lot of the political stuff and there was a lot of arguments because everybody has their own view. So you, you do have to talk about it sometimes. We have to be very, very, very careful, okay? And you have to not get into arguments on social media. That's like the worst thing ever. First of all, you, you, you probably don't even know the person you're arguing with. Let's just make sure to say that. So stay out of those social issue, social issue conversations and be a leader, act like a leader. People want leaders. If someone's gonna partner with you, or if a buyer is gonna work with you, or a seller is gonna work with you, they're looking for a leader. They're not looking for the agent that's arguing on social media about politics. Now, it's gonna happen, and I'm not gonna say that, that you can't do it, or don't do it, I'm not even gonna tell you what to do because you're an independent contractor, I bet. <laughs> but you wanna to, want to be very, very careful with that. You wanna always be the leader. And that brings me, showcase your leadership skills, okay? On social media, how many people have seen me, how many people have seen me celebrate my team on social media? I'm, my audience is real estate agents, right? My audience is real estate agents that I want to partner with me, right? So if I am celebrating my team, and that real estate agent is over at a brokerage where their manager doesn't have time to celebrate them. What are they going to do? They're going to second guess. Maybe I should call that with Nakia. I might get my picture on her social media page. I might get a sale from that. I might get a referral from that. Okay? So showcase your leadership skills. Um, also in conversations through videos. Okay? Showcase your leadership skills. Show that you're a leader. People are looking for leaders. A lot of people want to be led. You guys, they, they don't want someone that's just sitting on the sidelines to partner up with them. They like energy. They like entertainment. They like positivity. They like motivation. So you guys can use some of that to showcase your leadership skills. Add that into your daily regimen on social media. Next up, don't be scared to sell. Don't be scared to sell. I told you guys, I own the value of my uniqueness. I own that I'm wearing a, a torn up jean jacket on this stage this, this morning or this afternoon, wherever we are at. <laughs> right? I told you guys that I own the value of my uniqueness. 
And I'm not scared to sell. I'm not scared to go on social media and say, hey, I'm looking for a new team member. Hey, I'm looking for a buyer. Hey, I'm looking for a seller. It's my page. A lot of people, and we'll get in that conversation right now, a lot of real estate agents are scared to use their personal social media page to showcase that they are an agent. Stop doing that. Nobody's waking up in the morning just on a regular day and going to the yellow pages to look for a real estate agent. If they're on social media and they're scrolling through and they see you sharing something about real estate on your personal page, that is fell into their lap, right? But if they needed you, that's where they're going to see you. They are going to always go to your page, put it on your personal page, and then put it on your business page if you want. But you guys have got to stop being scared to sell. That's what real estate agents do. We sell. And, and if you are practicing agent attraction, we are selling problem solving for other real estate agents. So keep selling. Don't be scared to sell. It's the number one thing I hear when, whenever we're discussing social media. Should I sell on my personal page or should I go on my business page? Use your personal page. It's yours. It's your real estate. Okay? It's yours. You bought it. You paid for it. Everything that you worked on to build it. So go ahead and keep on sharing. Confidence is believing in your worth. I believe in me more than I believe in any other thing. Okay? I believe in me. I believe in my decision-making abilities. I believe in my unique, uniqueness. I believe in me. You have to believe in your worth. When you guys are talking to other people, if you don't believe in yourself, do you think they're going to believe in you? No. They're going to be looking like, she don't even believe this stuff that she's telling me, so why should I believe her? They know when something wrong is going on, whether you think they know or not. Body language, your facial expressions, the way you move, they know. When I walk into the room, people know that I'm coming out here to be confident, that I'm coming out, that I believe. I believe in myself, I'm scared. But I believe in my ability to come out here and talk to you guys, okay? And, and share, I can't come out here and share about confidence and come out here and scared and nervous, okay? I had to come out here because y'all back then, you know, I walked up here like this, right? Y'all didn't know I was back there scared, did you? <laughs> Everybody back there didn't know. <laughs> but none of y'all did. Oh, this is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Develop a daily affirmations checklist. Now, remember, people be like, are you talking to yourself? I was the only child, so I'm my best friend, okay? <laughs> daily affirmations. You got to talk to yourself, okay? You're going to have to. Affirmations. If you're going to have affirmations, you are affirming yourself. You are affirming that you are believing yourself. You are affirming that you are confident about what's going on in your life. Daily affirmations checklist. You guys, let me share with you my daily affirmations. I am limitless. There's nothing I cannot do. I am success. I am intentional. I am wealthy. I am blessed. I run with wealthy entrepreneurs. I must break all barriers. I will let nothing stand in my way. I will help other people win. I think like a millionaire. I am more than enough. I always achieve superior results. Nothing stands in my way. I have five sources and streams of income. I will help eight women start their own businesses each month. My mind is my mind. I am an overachiever. I am part of a team that moves me beyond inner growth. I am an eagle. It's time to soar and let's get moving. Okay? I read that to myself every single day. That's going to give you a little more confidence. Talk to yourself. It's okay. Don't let nobody tell you you're crazy because you're talking to yourself. I talk to myself all day, every day. I talk to myself sometimes when somebody's in the room with me. They be like, are you talking to yourself? I sure am. I'm my best friend. My best friend, we got to have a conversation. My BFF needs to tell me what's going on here. Okay? So daily affirmations. Use some of these affirmations.
affirmations, write your own, but invest in yourself with these daily affirmations. Talk to yourself, talk yourself up. This is how you're gonna build your own confidence. You don't need anybody else to give you confidence. Build your own confidence, okay? Let's win together through daily affirmations. So, before I get into ending this, I wanted to give you guys extra, I'd like to give some of some bonuses, some bonuses. So, I have a saying, let's get moving. And when I coach, I coach using the letters and words. So if you guys are ready to take some notes, if you haven't started already and you want to take some notes, now is our time to take notes. We are going to talk about let's get moving. I'm going to give you some tips using these letters, okay? The L is lead by example. And a lot of this is age and attraction and that, all right? Lead by example and listen at least 50% or more, mostly more, of the time. You're going to listen. When you start having conversations with other agents about revenue share, about EXP, about the business model, you have to listen first. Stop offering EXP right out the bat. Okay, stop it. Listen to them, listen to their story, listen to what's going on in their life right now, listen to what's going on at their brokerage right now, listen to what they need versus just offering them something. Who said they needed EXP? Now we all know they need the EXP, right? But they don't know yet, and we don't know what they really need until we listen to them. All right, next, E. Empower and elevate others. I talked about servant leadership, okay? You are going to help others. If you have a revenue share organization, you are going to empower others. You're going to have to elevate others. You are going to help them learn, build, and shape so that they can become leaders alongside of you. You don't want to be the only leader in revenue share. You don't want to be the only leader in your group in agent, in agent attraction. You need a team for that. You need a running party. You need someone else that wants to do this with you. It's very important that you don't do this by yourself. Okay? Uh, for the last two months, I spent all of my time helping 23 agents build an organization. Every single day at 8 in the morning, we wake up, 8 in the morning Eastern time, we wake up and we talk for an hour, we learn together, I coach them on something, I bring information to them that will help them build a revenue share organization. And because I did that for the last 60 days, that's how my team got to 103 agents, okay? Uh, out of those 103, 48 agents are my first nine agents. Right? But now my team is pulled up, and guess what? They surpassed me a little bit, right? It's 103 minus the 48, so they surpassed me a little bit. So 23 people out of the 48 that I brought or helped come to EXP have built a revenue share organization. That's big. That's empowering and elevating others. But guess what that is more, y'all? Me and my friends, we all get paid on the same day. Do y'all remember when we were back in the day we had jobs and people, you wanted to go on a trip, like, you know, the young folk, they wanted to go to Miami Beach, and y'all, that's where the Baltimore Ravens are, by the way, y'all, they playing today. And Miami, we so like, all the Baltimore was in, like, Miami right now, right? So when we were younger, we used to go on group trips, girls would get together, the guys would get together. Do y'all remember that one person had to wait to pay that, to pay for that airline ticket? Didn't that get on y'all's nerves? They kind of like, no, I had to wait to pay that, what you mean? No. So now, the revenue share, me and the other people in my organization, my friends, because y'all, all my friends are, are agents and our EXP agents, by the way, uh, we all get paid on the same day. So we can take trips together. Nobody has to wait to get paid, right? We know the 22nd of the month, or now, even before the 22nd of the month, we're all getting some money directly deposited into our bank accounts, right? So we know that we could do things together. So that's why you have to empower and elevate others. You want to be together. That's a good key word, together. Next up, trust the process. 
And time, that T, it stands for trust the process and time. The vision is already here, you guys. Brent Gold has given us the vision. We see what his life looks like, right? So that's the vision. Trust, he's been here for a while. So it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. Give it some time. The S is for strategize, but keep it simple. I have a saying, confusion scares away the money. When you guys are trying to explain EXP and, and you get the other agent confused, they're getting scared. So you just scared away your money. You scared away your revenue share, direct deposit on the 22nd of the next month, right? Because they're confused. You have to keep it simple. Use the mobileexplained.com. Use the EXP Explained with Trey, right? Use those weekly calls. Use those YouTube videos. Someone has already explained this model. We can simply use what they can use the resources that they have created for us. The G is give the blueprint. The model explained.com. Right? That's the blueprint. Give the blueprint. Don't keep it to yourself. People are wondering what you are doing to get wealthy. People are wondering what you are doing to be away from your business and be in Las Vegas for this week, right? Share the blueprint. Give them the blueprint. That's what they need. Give your team the blueprint. E, another E. Energy and encouragement and expectations. Bring energy at all times. Bring energy at all times. You have to be energetic in this business, right? You have to encourage others in this business, right? Set expectations. Tell people it's going to take some time. Brent Wolf didn't become a millionaire overnight. So set some expectations. T again, together. I told you guys, together is always better. Collaborations, partnerships, teams, accountability. Okay? That's what that T is for. Let's get into the moving part. Moving. I told you all manifestation. As I said at the pool at the EXP Sprint last year, I wrote on Facebook that I would travel for, next year, I would travel for two weeks out of the month for three months in a row. You guys wanna know where I am in that journey? Well, in June, I started on this journey. And for two weeks of every month since June of 2021, I've taken at least two weeks of vacation it's only in Charlotte, North Carolina. But guess what? I like it in Charlotte, North Carolina. I eat good in Charlotte. I see people, my people in Charlotte. I see you coming over there. <laughs> I visit people. I get an alignment with my upline and other agents that are in our revenue share organization. We collaborate. We are together. So I take working vacations two weeks out of each month, and I've done this since June. So that's June, July, August, September, October, November. So I didn't do it for three months. I'm way over my goal, y'all. I'm way over my goal. It's something I manifest. I wrote this down. I was new at EXP. I had no rep share. I had like maybe $60, $100, $600 in rep share, right? But I knew that if I just kept up with my vision, if I kept up with my plan, if I just kept going, that eventually I would be able to take two weeks of vacation out of the year. And then it's happened for me. And it's happened quickly. And I'm still confused a little bit by it. But I manifest it. It's here and I'm going to live it. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So say it out loud. Think big and dream bigger. Oh, it's for observe other leaders. Okay, I just called Karen out. Karen gives us so much good information on a weekly basis that now I have things, I'm watching her. She was running a brokerage and it moved over to EXP. So I'm watching her, I'm watching how she works, I'm watching how she talks, I'm watching how she carries herself in her business. I'm observing other leaders. I watch everything that AJ Maida does, right? I watch every thing that Elizabeth Riley does. And I want to just duplicate it. I observe. Observe is key word, y'all. Follow them on social media. 
see what they're doing and just duplicate them. They, they're giving us the model, they're giving us the blueprint. Okay? Me, vision. Always share your vision. Share it with everyone. Share it with confidence. Believe in yourself. Believe in your vision. Share that you believe in your vision. Okay? Clearly, I believe in my vision. Because now, I'm just living two weeks out of the month in a whole different state. I believed in that vision I set forth in November of 2020. I believed in it so much that I made sure that I did everything I could do to live what I visioned. Okay? I is for invite, invite, invite. I built my business. I built my revenue share organization off of events. Events, meetings, coaching, helping other people. Invite people into your world. Invite If you have never hosted a business planning event, make that your first event. Every single agent in the industry needs help with business planning. Or you may can collaborate with another agent that already does it, another leader that already does it. Invite some agents to their event and help them out and become a hero. Most of my relationships are built on me being a hero and helping someone with because I've invited them to an event that helped them in their business when I could have no financial gain whatsoever from what they are, what they now have, information and success, right? And it's for never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Persistence and consistency is everything you Because never give up. A lot of people, you give up on yourself. You give up on your hopes. You give up on your dreams. You give up so fast. Don't give up. Keep going. Persistence. Consistency. Okay? In 2015, I used to hold a home buyer workshop. But I didn't call it a home buyer workshop because it wasn't a home buyer workshop. Because in 2015, my audience was people that I had to keep telling no. I had to tell people they were not ready to buy a house yet. I had to tell people that their loan application was denied. So what did I do? I came up with a home buyer workshop called Credit Workshop 101. So I invited people to my real estate office and I helped them to learn about credit so that they could become credit ready and then, and when, they were ready to buy a home, maybe they would contact me again because I helped them solve a problem. Now they're on my email list because I have their contact information, right? Because I made them register for an event. And I helped them through no game whatsoever. But do you guys know, and I'll give you a real life example. This year, this month, and I don't, is Danielle in the room by any chance? I, I refer to a, a client to Danielle in Pennsylvania because I'm in North. And what happened, I had a home buy a credit workshop 101 client in 2016 to just close a real estate deal in 2021. And not only did she close one deal, she closed two deals. She sold the house that she was living in to buy her move-up house in a different state. So I had a, I had a whole transaction because I was a listing agent in one, and then I had a referral in a second transaction. But that was through consistency. That was through persistence. That was through helping people without any gain. That was from inviting her to a home buying workshop that I call Credit Workshop 101 because she knew that she wasn't ready to buy a house in 2015, 2016. But we built a relationship. We stayed connected. And then in 2021, when she was ready for her two transactions, who did she call? Nikita. Y'all know why? Because I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram.
Instagram. I'm talking about real estate all day and all night, right? So she knew, and I'm on my personal page, so she knew she could contact me to help her with her two transactions, right? That's a story, y'all. That's a story. That's persistence, consistency, belief in myself and showcasing my business and sharing content that matters. Last but not least is the G. And the G is goals and growth. And I know I don't have to spend a lot of time on goals or growth. You set them and you never forget them. You set them and you never forget them. You are gonna eat your goals, thinking about your goals. You're gonna drink, thinking about your goals. You're gonna be sitting in the movie theater thinking about your goals. As a matter of fact, everybody in this room should be thinking about their goals right now. Because after this powerful week that we had, after this powerful week that we spent with leaders, after this powerful week that we got all of this information to go to the next level in our businesses, we should have those big, big goals and we should be ready to execute everything that we need to execute to get to the end goal, to grow, right? You guys should be eating, sleeping, drinking, and just thinking about how am I gonna take advantage of this revenue share? How am I gonna build an organization as big as Elizabeth's organization, right? I can't sleep, I don't know about you, I can't sleep at night knowing that Elizabeth Riley has this huge organization, right? And she's been here for a long time. What's your number? Elizabeth, 400 and... Say that one more time. 466. So Elizabeth is a 466 agent at ESP Realty, right? And the kid just got here in, on July the 8th of 2020. I can't sleep at night knowing that I'll be able to be like Elizabeth when I grow up. <laughs> Listen, I can't sleep at night. I don't know about y'all. I can't sleep at night. I wake, I'm waking up in Vegas at 5 something in the morning. We don't even have to be downstairs at three hours later. But I can't sleep at night knowing the opportunity that we have here, the blueprint that's ready for us, the simple system that is out there for us. ExpCloud.com. If you guys haven't been to ExpCloud.com, every single thing that you need to know about EXP is right on that one website, and it's public. We're transparent. That's how I got all the information. When my sponsor contacted me, I had to do a background check with him. I became a private investigator to see if this man really knew what he was talking about. This man was really real. If he, he told me that I was going to do all these great things and that I was going to grow by starting my own business, and I had to check it out, right? I knew that if I set goals, I know that if I know my numbers, I know y'all hear me say that date, July 8th of 2020. I know dates, I know numbers, I know time. I can tell y'all right now, my Buck Share organization is 103 agents. It's 48 in my first line. 48 of those people I brought into the business. 24 of them are my first line qualified agents. And there's nine new agents in my organization in the last 30 days. Y'all know why I know those numbers? Because I write them down every single day. I talked about journaling. I have a journal with every single, uh, those numbers written down every single day from July 2020 all the way through this morning. Okay, I know my numbers. You guys gotta know your numbers. All right, that's just another tip I've been off track. That's another tip I want y'all to do. I want to share that. <laughs> so, let me just wrap this up by again. I want everybody to stay connected with me. I want to build my social media on this. Let's be clear. <laughs> so, I want you guys to maybe pull out your cell phones or your iPads, whatever you have, and let's connect on Instagram because I need to build that up a little more. I think I got Facebook covered now. So, if y'all know me, like me, trust me, connect with me on Facebook but also connect with me on Instagram. It's moving with Nakia. LinkedIn is another good place. I didn't even talk to y'all about LinkedIn, but LinkedIn was a place for business to business, right? Or people with jobs are on LinkedIn. So if you guys are on LinkedIn, y'all are missing your audience because everybody with jobs can buy houses, right? Or people at other brokerages may have a pain point and they need you 
to bring them into a relationship with you and then they'll figure out that they want to come to EXP Realty with you, right? So try LinkedIn. But I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, I'm on every single social media channel you could find online. Okay, I'm even, I'm on TikTok. I haven't done any dances yet. Actually, I just made a TikTok video about a couple weeks ago. I was not ready yet because a friend of mine is putting it together. But I was like, you know, not dressed up and then dressed up. And then I put your hand in it and a cup of coffee. I did like one of those. And I was on, y'all know what I did? I got, I went to the playground and I got on swings. And then I was had one outfit on and then I went, got dressed and then came back on the swings and had another outfit on. So I want y'all to see the debut of that. So find me on TikTok and Instagram so I can show off that video. I think it's going to be ready this week. So I'm gonna share that with y'all, but it was my, it's my first like you know, TikTok production, I guess. Um, but let's get connected, let's stay connected. The other thing I wanna tell you guys to do also, everybody here at EXP has a, what, what's called an upline, your sponsors. Go to my.exprealty.com, go into that app, and in the top right hand corner, there's like three lines, click those lines, Look up your upline, look up your sponsors. Those people are invested in your success. Connect with them on social media. Connect with them on workplace. Get in alignment with them. Find out what resources they have to help you with your business. They are invested in your success. That's one of the best things I like about EXP is that other people are invested in my success and they're gonna give me so many resources and so many things to help me be great and help me build a business. All right, so I wanna give you guys that tip. I'm looking at this little countdown right now. I've got about three minutes. And I just wanna tell you guys this. This is my story right here in one sentence. I am where I am because I refused to believe that I was bound to anything that put a limitation on what I could achieve. And I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna on this side, because I haven't been on this side, I'm sorry. I am where I am because I refused to believe that I was bound to anything that put a limitation on what I could achieve. There's nobody in this world, right? Just come on, because y'all get ready to say this, y'all get ready. It's on the big screen, and I want everybody, because I gotta get y'all ready for the next step, right? Can y'all stand up for me? Because I want y'all to say this, and I want you to believe, and I want you to take a screenshot, a picture, or I want you to write this down. Because I want this to be, I want this to be for you as well. Y'all ready? All right, let's do it. I am where I am because I refused to believe that I was bound to anything that put a limitation on what I could achieve. And you guys know why I believe that? I believe that more than ever right now. I believe that more than ever right now is because of the model EXP has provided for us. There's no other business model like this. There's no other place where I could be friends with so many people in this one audience. There's no other, no other organization, there's no other brokerage, there's no other company where we all chip in to help each other grow where we have so many leaders, seven levels of leaders and leadership, where there's no other place I could be in the back in the green room and take a selfie with Glenn Sanford, right? There's no other place where Elizabeth Riley would fly and coach my revenue share organization. There's no other place that I've been to before. So I am where I am because I refuse to believe that I was bound to anything that put a limitation on what I could achieve. There's nothing that could stop me. There's no one that could stop me. The only person that could stop me is me. If I decided that I didn't want this great life, I didn't want the time freedom, the location freedom, the financial freedom. I am where I am because I refuse to believe that I was bound to anything that put a limitation on what I could achieve. Thank you guys so much.
Thank you, thank you. Unstoppable, unshakable, 